Okay, y'all, hi. Here you go. It's Heather with Velvet and Vines Design. How are you tonight? Thanks for joining me. We are here for Father's Day Marathon Parade. Wait, hold on. Father's Day Parade Marathon. I don't know what the other. But anyway, if you're catching this part, you're probably watching the replay. Thanks for stopping back by if you want to tell me hi. Um, if you want to get right to the project, you might want to fast forward about two to three minutes and we'll get right into it. So I'm going to get us pulled up. I'm going to get a shout out around to some of our friends. I'm over here. How are you? Sorry I'm uh, in a tank top tonight, but it is, I've been working in here all night long and it is, it's warm in here. It is warm in her. So how are you? How is everybody doing? How's your Sunday night? This is some late, late night crafting for me, right? I'm not usually on this late, but uh, let's do it. Let's do this. I'm gonna do a little something fun. It's gonna be fun, you know. You know how we likes to do it. A little fun, a little, a little thrift, a little thrift shop, um, but meaningful. And hey, you know what? We might not even take the full hour. I might be able to give you some, get you to your beauty sleep sooner than we expected. Right. All right. Let me get shared around for my personal side. All the things we do to bring all the milkshake. What is it? Wait. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. That's what it is. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Not trying to do any milkshakes. All right. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. So we got about one minute. And Nadia will be sharing us in to the wreaths, work forms, and more. So that's what we're here for. Oh, let me pull up comments. Hello. Hey, Barb. Hey, Michelle. Thanks. This is just, I, I um, in the summer, I live in uh, sundresses, and um, they're technically moo-moos, but they call them sundresses now, and like rompers and overalls is like totally my jam, so... Yeah. Hey, Carla. I love your um, swag that you did for your husband. That was so sweet. Hi, Brooklyn and Venus. And um, Michelle, what you making today, girl? What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> All right, we got one more minute. So I've been hanging on to this box for probably five years, just knowing one day it was going to have a purpose, and it's today. It's tonight, y'all. So, and I'm going to make something for my dad. Hey, Nadia. Hi, friend. How are you? All right. So, we're sprinkled in. It's 10 o'clock Eastern time on a Sunday night. Let's get with it, right? All right. So, what I'm doing is a keepsake box. I got this box here. So, I'm so short that I have to have a step stool here to actually start my life. Yes, this is true. I can only birth giants. I am not one. But anyway, so what I'm making is a keepsake box for my dad. So um, I'm an only child. My dad had me, you know, my parents were very, very young. I think my mom was 19 and my dad was 18. Um, and my dad came from, um, you know, really Southern kind of a style family, I guess you would say, you know, church and Sunday dinners with the whole family and um, just really close knit. And so, you know, he, you know, I kind of grew up with, with that, right? And he has always, always, always had some type of wooden boxes that he keeps things in. When we were younger, I was younger, he was younger too. <laughs> it was coins and like $2 bills and things like that, right? Like kind of rarities. Um, and as I got older, you know, just things like cards and things like that. Now, you know, uh, my dad's real big into sports, has always been a great um, athlete himself. And now I have three boys, right? So it's like kind of God gave him a daughter. <laughs> and he was the athlete, you know, the baby of five boys. He grew up with all boys and then he got this daughter, right? So it was only fitting that then God gave him three grandsons. So what I'm trying to say is there's a lot of keepsakes with that. You know, my oldest son is an athlete and he... Um, he fights and things like that. We keep his tickets and his passes and um, school programs. 
home run balls, all the things, right? So anyway, got this box about five years ago and I've just kept it. It was just, I don't know, it was just so cool. It, it came with, um, it, a company had mailed me, it came with like gifts in it. And I just thought that this box was amazing, but I just never knew what to exactly do with it. So this is what it looks like on this side of it too. So this is the front. And then it just opens up like this, right? So it's just really pretty wooden box. It only has the pattern here, there, and then on the sides, it's the wood. So we're keeping a lot of the same elements and working with it, okay? So we're keeping all the leather, we're keeping the wood. I'm not doing anything to it. I'm not painting it. I'm not doing any of that. All I'm doing is, so again, I want to keep with like, like sentimental thing. So I'm, I'm a, I'm a jeans and, um, you know, like, it's just kind of how I dress, right? Little, little, um, well, just jeans and stuff. So anyway, this was my favorite pair of jeans that I ripped and then I just hung on to them. So what I did was I actually, uh, took both of the back pockets and we're going to stick those onto the sides like this with glue and the reason that he can use this to like tuck things into like cards and things like that so we're gonna have that on both sides and then what we're gonna do to cover up this part is we're gonna keep with the jean theme and I have taken that same jean and I've gone ahead and I ripped I ripped everything I want the edges to be tattered I don't want them to be this clean cut so everything was ripped and I had the jeans behind me I can show you how I did it but um and we're just going to actually just decoupage this on and cover up these strips here and here so then it'll be all wood leather and jean okay then we're not done okay so then when we're done with that then we're going to add in some photos okay so some of the photos I, I printed them on parchment paper and I printed them real early this morning so that they're hopefully dry and they won't, you know, the ink won't bleed. But I pr printed all kinds of pictures of like my kids and their special moments. Um, when my dad coached, you know, one of my sons, when we went to Disney together, um, one of my cousin's weddings, um, just really great picture of Garrett, you know, in baseball. And then the time that Garrett shaved his head down the middle. And then just like a family photo of us. So, and then that's us with my dad. So I just took some pictures and then my favorite, favorite picture is this. This is me and my dad, y'all. So anyway, lots of cool pictures. This is my little guy crew. <laughs> this is Taylor and I on my wedding day. So that's what I did. I just picked pictures with a lot of meaning and then pictures with him in it. And we're gonna put those over top of it. And then I'm gonna kind of like cattywampus them, right? And originally I had posted that I was going to use wax on the edges because I don't really know how to use like distressing inks. I know, I'm going to admit it to y'all. I feel like this is a safe space, right? So, and then by the time I cut them in the colors, I was like, oh, you won't see it anyway. But y'all know me, I love coastal jute. I have jute everywhere. So I thought maybe I would just frame each photo with just some of the jute, right? Just to kind of give it a little extra. So it'll be blue jean, wood, leather, and then some jute. All right, so that's the project, y'all. It might not even take a full hour. Who knows? Or we might be here by tomorrow. Who knows? Who knows? So what do you think? Hey, Mary. Hi, Giselle. Cindy. Hi, Patricia. Hi, everybody. Hi, Lisa. Hi, everybody. Hi, my friends. Hi, Tamala and Lori. All right. Jim's laying next to me. He says, is she talking to me? <laughs> oh, no, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> hey, Luan. Hey, Lori, my friend. All right, so let's go ahead and get to it. No, she's not talking to me. Is she talking to me? <laughs> ah, I could be. Who knows? I don't know. My husband went golfing today, so I feel like he should be in a great mood. And then, after he went golfing, I made tacos. I feel like that's like good wifing right there. Right? Don't you think? I do. All right, I'm not worried about this Mod Podge getting on any of the wood or anything because as you know, when it dries, it's clear, right? So who cares? All right, 
And I went ahead and ripped these strips up only because I know sometimes, especially this late at night, I bet most of you are laying in bed. You might even have some earbuds in. How many of you are in your jam jams right now? And if you did have earbuds in, I didn't want you to have to listen to that. You know what I mean? I mean, some of you might like it. I like, I like, I'm into those kind of sounds like zip ties and things like that. It's like a satisfaction when it goes zip. <laughs> Did that scare your husband? Hey, Candy, what's up, girlfriend? What are you doing? So no wreath making tonight, y'all. No wreath making tonight. We're doing a little DIY for my dad. I'm making him a keepsake box. All I'm doing is covering up this, uh, like the, what do you want to call this? It's like a map. Yeah, it is a map because crew came in here and he was like, mom, do you know that that's, I think he said Kazakhstan or something. I don't know y'all. He's way too smart for me. I don't know. I feel dumb a lot of times when we're talking. And all I did was I took a favorite pair of my jeans that I've I busted the seed out of. Let's not talk about how that happened, okay, though? Okay? Okay, let's just say that this was God's way of using my favorite jeans for something for my dad, okay? Okay. I would appreciate that. That's what somebody said. Um, I think it was Jeannie. She was like, how did the seat get busted in those jeans? Because I took a picture of it before. I was like, Jeannie. You've seen what I'm working with. <laughs> what, what you mean? How'd that happen? Girl, you know. <laughs> oh. Hey, Amanda. How are ya? I loved, loved your rice paper project. I love rice paper myself. I'm going to take my glasses off. I just, it's been so warm here. And I'm trying not to turn the air on until they complain about it because you know they'll freeze me right out of this house y'all so i'm trying not to all right this might be a little bit too long so you might actually hear me rip it a little bit so all i do is just get it started oh, it's so fun and then it just rips right down i mean this is the leg of the jean Oh, they're perfect. All right. Mod Podge. Now, this is the only time I really use, remember I said, uh, I, I, this isn't my favorite um, medium. It's just not. Um, for decoupaging, it's so, so stinking thick. But I do like it if I'm doing things for outside. And I definitely like it if I'm trying to take uh, or tack down something as thick as jean. Am I right? <laughs> it's not very easy. My dad's in Hilton Head right now, vacationing. I'm hoping he's been golfing, eating great food. You know what I mean? Hey, Samantha. Yeah, care and look, you can do this for your own, like for your own decor. Like if you have, especially if you have like that southwestern decor, this would be awesome idea to do um, jean and um, especially if you could do like jean and lace. Like I love like a that's about the only time you'll hear me talk about lace, like a jean and lace or a leather and lace type of a situation. I bought a cigar box, in all honesty, that's that's the route I was gonna go. And then I really, I just got thinking about it and I was like, it's just not big enough to keep all the keepsake things, you know? It's just not big enough. And then I remembered I had this. And I was like, that's it. But then I was like, I don't like that pattern. <laughs> what am I gonna do? So anyway, it came together. Jean and Lace, yeah. Jean and Lace. Now I have a straight knife here. 
that if I got down to these edges like this, that I could get a nice cut. So let's see if it works. Let's see if it works, y'all. I've never done this before, so we're going to learn together. It's either going to flop or it's going to be fabulous. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see which one we get. It's a, it's a coin toss. It's a coin toss. Did y'all catch Lori Toops out uh, when she was doing her live from the flippin' beach, y'all? Like, I don't think there's ever been anybody that's done a marathon live from the beach. I don't know if there's been anybody that's ever done a make from the beach. Like, a lot of people have done it, you know, where they're just walking around and showing you the scenery. But I don't know if anybody's actually pulled up to a picnic table with her cordless glue gun. That's what I said. I said, is anybody walking by like, hey, what's going on there? I'd have rolled if some ladies rolled up and was like, is this a craft event? Can I make something? No, and Lori, she'd been like, yeah, come here. Hold this crab for me. <laughs> I just thought that was awesome. I would have panicked. And somebody put in the comments, they said, um, uh, what did they, they put it something like, basically like there were, where there's a will, occasion will find a way, kind of a situ, you know, kind of a comment, you know what I mean? Very fitting. I thought it was awesome. So if you didn't catch it, go back and catch the replays. They're all available in Reese work forms and more. If you're not a part of the group, you really should join it. It's a free group. Um, it's a great place for you to share your work. They're all other uh, creators and makers. As you can see from this marathon, not everybody is, you know, there's painters and DIYers, crafters, wreath makers, floral designers. I mean, you got a little bit of everything. So check it out. Share your work in there. Join it. All the great things. And you have two days worth of Father's Day's ideas. And I mean, we've had all kinds of from police dads to military dads to dads that like to fish and hunt to um, grandparents. You know, there was there was uh, Lisa did a wonderful steer head for her grandfather, which I thought was awesome. Oh, it was your grandfather, right? I'm pretty sure it was your grandfather. So there's all kinds of ideas. So check them out all the replays and if you're really feeling frisky you can give them a little heart and maybe if you're really feeling frisky you can give them a little follow how about that always appreciate that right like this is reminding me of like jeans and the winter with like your camel boots what Like picking out an outfit. All right, same thing. Just straight edge this. Right. And then I'll give you. I don't. I can't tell. Let's see. Do you have? You have a decent view, but I'll give you better views each time. I promise. I love making wreaths. I absolutely love making wreaths. I love, love being all up in the flowers and the bougie ribbon. It is like totally my jam. However, my whole start was messing around with furniture, y'all. Slapping paint on old furniture and then like messing with like old decor and making it mine. Like for me, like I can remember when I first got my first place, um, my dad gave me a bunch of like, do you guys remember that mallard duck like decor, like the home decor that had all the wooden hearts all over it? And it wasn't even, it wasn't my jam back then. It's just not my jam. <laughs> and I just remember I was like, okay, but sorry, I used it. I figured out something to do with it. So this is the top, right? Not bad. Now, remember.
remember, we're going to go on with things like pictures like this, right? And we're going to like put jute and things around it. So that's how we're going to make it really like into a, like a memento box, right? All right. All right. I'm going to do this side of it. Let's see if there are any questions. Hey, Monica. Hey, lady. How are you? I could put a strip of lace in between the jeans across the top. That would be awesome. But not for a man. Yeah, that's. I, I did think about some things that I could do. I'm going to bring my stool over here. Some things that I could do to, like, just enhance it and make it a little bit better, right? Sorry. My nose always runs in the lights. Sorry. I'm telling you all my problems. <laughs> um, but, yeah, my dad is, he is not a, he is not a foo-foo man. So, it's going to be interesting like just making something for him because that was the one my whole my whole dilemma was what can I make for my dad that you know he's just he's just such like he loves golf clubs <laughs> I can't make a golf club he likes uh you know he likes vacations he's retired now he was an electrician for many many years in the union and now he's retired so he likes to travel around and eat out and all of that and I can't craft any of those things <laughs> so I was like you know what in all of his travels he always picks up things to keep um, he is um, sentimental so and then like cards and things like that um, so I was like you know what and this is what I'll do and then of course you know I'll fill it with other things like I will give him a gift card to eat and things like that too. So yeah, we had some people make things for their husbands, some for their dads, their own dads, some for their grandpas. So lots of ideas, y'all. And you've got what, almost, when is Father's Day now? June. Wasn't it last year? It was like on the 18th or something, right? So is it about around that same time this year? I feel like we've got about a month, right? Thanks, Lori. Yeah, Barb, hey! Yeah, you saw me today. Uh, we were on Angie's Live Chitty Chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I saw that you commented I'm following you. Thanks for following me. Thanks for hopping in here. I was just watching um, a little bit of Angie, too. I watch a little bit of everybody, a little bit of, I was getting ready to get my camera ready and all that stuff to go live. I saw she was on, so of course I popped in, hey Angie, <laughs> and popped back out to go live, or Amber, sorry, not Angie, Amber, what am I talking about? I know who I'm talking about. All right. But thanks for joining me, Barb. Thanks for following. I love Amber's work. <laughs> Y'all, she made me some shirts and my tumbler mug to match my purple vans. Because you know, it's all about matching and it's all about shoes. If it's not about ribbon, it's about shoes. I heard Nadia say that earlier. I was in the same boat. It was always shoes before it was ribbon. And then eventually there needed to be a choice. You all, well, if you could see my wall next to me, you'll see what one. <laughs> but it's all right how many shoes do you need and quite honestly I am shooting for a style of a lifestyle that I can literally wear flip-flops all the time and just be totally fine am I amen right amen I got like a little oh uh, I have no room to lift my foot up in here y'all I was watching um everybody and and so 10 o'clock is typically my time time to be in bed with my jam jams on my earbuds in and normally this is about the time I'm snuggling in to fall asleep to somebody like just letting y'all know if anybody's on live about 10 o'clock this is what Heather's doing right I'm watching you I'm about snuggling I'm gonna get I'm gonna get comfortable so anyway I didn't I couldn't do that I could fall asleep I have responsibilities um so I was like well I have to do projects I have to do projects so I stay awake so I decoupaged this clown box behind me and painted all the trim gold I set out some projects for tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm literally surrounded in things because I didn't want, you know, to, I didn't want to fall asleep. The things we do. 
Naughty, I love you. <laughs> Not a limit on shoes. Or room. I know. If I hit the lottery. Well, you all, I told you about. Uh, so for those of you that are new to my page or if you missed my live, I, I mentioned that. Uh, so my, my debit card and my husband's credit card got hacked, right? Got hacked with a bunch of crazy Apple charges. I'm talking like crazy Apple charges. So, um, I had, you know, I had to change all my stuff and all of that. But, but when that happened, you know, when you have fraud on your account, you're very attentive. You're looking at every little charge. And he was going through, he was like, this, what is this big Sugar Creek farm? What is this Joyce Elaine Designs? What is this general wholesale? I was like, hey, hey. Hey, Simmer, <laughs> that is not the fraud. <laughs> anyway, so Michelle, yes, unfortunately, I do have to make choices. But, but what I do is if I'm ever in trouble, my go-to is I just suggest golf every time. Like, hey, you know, you should probably do golfing. Here's going to be a nice day. Sometimes it works. What is it that guy says in that movie? 70% of the time it works every time. <laughs> On Anchorman, isn't that what he said? 70% of the time it works every time. Something like that anyway. All right. We're almost there on this piece. We're getting there. I love, I love the tattered look. So I don't know how you all feel about that, but uh, I'm going to show it to you. But I love it. I like, I like all of that. It's my jam. I'm covered in all kinds of strings and all the things. All right. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Now we can, uh, once we get all of this on, and I am not going to go over the top with with decoupage. I'm just simply using it to adhere the back of the jean. So I'm not going to go over top of it like I would if it was a paper or I, I would, I've, you know, I've used cloth before when I've made um, some of my wall pieces. Um, and I always went over the decoupage. Um, so, or I'm sorry. I went over the fabric. Sorry. Let me, let me find my words here. 10 o'clock Heather is struggling. I would always use whatever decoupage medium I was using and I would go over top of the fabric. But I am not doing that tonight with the jean. I'm simply letting it be an adhesive. Oh, Barb, you do. Yeah, my grandma always encouraged me to make um, handmade gifts when I was a little girl. She would help me. Um, I made pillows and um, things like that. I wish I had some of the cross stitch. That was a big thing I did. I did a lot of cross stitch as gifts. I wish I had some of the things I made. When I was a little girl, I crafted a lot. I was always with my mom, mom and pop up. And my mom, mom, I mean, you know, she had five boys. She grew up during the depression. You know, she used to make her clothes out of burlap sacks. So she was just, um, even when she got um, later in life where things were more comfortable, it was already a part of who she was to be frugal and to, to garden and can and, um, you know, make clothes and things like that. You know what I mean? So um, that's what we did. And I did it right along with her. It was awesome. All right. I don't like, hold on. Is this the piece? I was going to say, I thought I had planned this out. Okay, all right. <laughs> I was starting to panic. I was like, wait a minute. I thought I planned this out pretty good. The cross stitch and the crochet things. Yeah, yeah. I, that's, I did all of that as a child. Yeah. She, um... Like she would, you know, she, they were, my grandparents were very, very big into their church. It was a very small, small church. And, you know, the whole community was a part of the church. You know, back, back then, that's just how it was. Everybody helped out. And um, 
So she encouraged me to always make gifts for like elderly people who didn't have, like there was one lady, Miss Margaret, she didn't have children. And um, so she didn't have a lot of family around there. So, you know, I would always make gifts for her. You know, my mom was a very, very thoughtful woman. She made sure everybody felt welcomed. And I don't know how she did it, but no matter what, no matter what she made for dinner, if somebody popped up, she always somehow still had enough. You know what I mean? Like, I I, I think about, I mean, I have all boys, right? So, like, if, if somebody extra came from dinner, like, I might be stuck. <laughs> I might not have an extra um, burger two for them or steak or two for them. But not my mom. She always didn't matter. Always had something. So people don't really do that though nowadays, right? Like just stop by and just like unannounced. And I don't think we really do that back then. You know, that was all the time. My goodness, I don't think there was a day of the week that my grandparents didn't have a visitor at their house. Just popping over, wanting to know what you doing, moseying over, they'd say. Moseying over, what you doing? <laughs> what I wouldn't give to go back to that. Eating tomatoes out of the garden. Oh, I set that down right in the Mod Podge. All right, now I'm gonna go around it with this exacto knife, or sorry, straight edge, whatever you wanna call it. You love cross stitch and crafting. Not always the best crafter, but you still enjoy it. Isn't that the, the most important part, though, is that it fills your cup? And who says you're not the best crafter? We are always so hard on ourselves. Always so hard on ourselves. You should share what you make. Join wreaths, wreath, work forms, and more. Sorry about that. 10 o'clock Heather doesn't talk good. <laughs> 10 o'clock Heather, words are hard. But join the group and post your work in there and let us love on you. That's what I tell all my friends. Let us love on you. I was in, my very first marathon ever I was ever in happened to also be a charity auction. Talk about jumping in y'all head first. That was it. I was so stinking nervous. You know, maybe it was the best thing that I did that because I was so focused about the, the um, auction that I didn't even think about the fact that I was, well, I was in a marathon too. <laughs> so, but anyway, and it ended up going amazingly well. I, I was like, it just, it was a huge challenge for me and it filled my cup. Like, let me tell you. Anyway, the lady that won the bid for the wreath that I made, um, her name is Miss Marie, and um, she, uh, we got, you know, we kind of, I don't, you know, befriended each other, right? She'll message me sometimes about some things um, that she's making, and anyway, she told me she was making this ladder that she was putting above her, like, kitchen lights, and she um, put, like, a bunch of lavender on it. It was absolutely stinking gorgeous, and she was like, oh, I don't know, I should probably not ever post it, you know, I, and she was kind of like, you know, I, I don't, I'm not a maker. I'm just a person that, that, you know, making something for my home. And I'm like, that's exactly who we want to see. That's exactly what we want to see. That's exactly who all of us were before we made to sell too. So she did. And she got over 500 likes y'all over 500 likes. She posted it in craft around the clock. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I messaged her and I was like, ah, Miss little old me, you know what I mean? Like, look at that. That's just. And so anyway, my point in saying that is, is that what you see isn't what the rest of us sees. I said that to Lisa tonight with Choose Joy Crafts. Lisa does some of the most incredible projects I've seen. 
uh, from the most experienced crafters. It doesn't matter. When you're, you have art and talent, you have talent. Nobody can take that away from you, and it doesn't matter if you haven't been going live for 17 years. There was no live 17 years ago, but you know what I mean. All right, look, we're done. We got blue jean, leather, and wood. But we do have to put the pockets on the end. So let me clean up my, my stuff, and then we'll work on the pockets and the pictures. Okay, so this is going to come together super, super easy. Super easy. The most cumbersome thing is definitely the getting all the jean to fit. But like I said, I did see how I did like the tattered edges, but that's how I wanted it. I wanted it to be tattered. So I'm going to keep smoothing this out. I might even put my heat gun on it. Make sure. All right. Okay. I'm going to put this Mod Podge to the side. All right. Here are my photos. So yeah, I think I voted against the wax. So for anybody that saw my post and saw me put wax, if you're really disappointed, I'm so, so sorry. We'll play with wax some other night, I promise. But tonight's not the night. <laughs> All right. I'm simply gonna use some good old hot glue just cause it's wood and jean. So let's put it on its side. But it's the perfect height to where this opens, where the pocket is. Right. You can see it smoking. Whew. I work in halves, y'all. I uh, have a tendency to not do anything in a straight line. I can't even walk in a straight line. I don't know what's up with it. I don't know. Give me, tell me, walk in a straight line, and I'm walking next to somebody. I'm constantly bumping into a boop boop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why. So I find if I set it down and then I work in halves, I don't mess myself up. Just the little things we do, right? Right. All right, so look at that. So now we have a jean pocket right there on the side. We can put cards and things in. So let's do the same thing on this side. I like some Mod Podge or something on there. All right. I can hear somebody out there eating. I made a crew tub. He wanted tater tots. I made them. He said they were the wrong color. He lost his mind a little bit. I left them there, came back later, and like half the plate was eaten. And I was like, what happened to the tater tots that were the wrong color? Because he only likes great value tater tots. If you buy a Rida, he knows. So that was the first question. Is this a ride of tater tots? I'm like, no, it's great value tater tots. Did you cook them more than 10 minutes? He likes them only 10 minutes in the air fryer. I'm like, no, I cooked them for 10 minutes in the air fryer. Anyway, he ended up eating them. I was like, what happened? He was like, I ate them. They were really good, even though they were a different color. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Y'all, struggle is real sometimes, the color of tater tots. But the good news is, remember I told you that he um, has been really loving, like, the Beatles. He's super obsessed with the Beatles right now. He knows, like, all their songs. But, and then I said he, he's he been begging to do um, uh, the violin, play the violin. I ordered him a violin. Comes in this week. I'm super excited about it. He doesn't know it yet. All right, let's go in with some pictures. So, y'all, either I will be telling you... Um, how crazy it is and when I'm doing lives you're gonna hear so I said we're gonna have a fiddle and a banjo here my husband plays guitar so I don't know maybe we'll hear some live music and then I can get kicked off of Facebook right all right let's go in with some pictures 
and really kind of personalize this. So I want this middle picture to be something with my dad in it. <clears throat> so let's see. There was a picture of my dad with all the boys. I think that's what the one I'm going to do. Him and his boys. He loves his boys. All right. And now... Okay, yep, this one. I'm going to do this one. It's my dad and Garrett, and that's my... The really, really tall one is Garrett. And then the other one with the hat on is my oldest son, Taylor. And then the little guy is Crew. Um, and this was my dad's birthday this past year. Yeah, this past year. So this past February, right? This wasn't last... No, this might have been last February. Hold on, let me look at him because he's lost so much weight. I think this was last February. Yeah. All right. So, I'm going to use Mod Podge, though, to put... my um what is this called photo <laughs> my photo down I like to do things I'm doing them like a little like I want them cut cut and you know it's just kind of like, yeah I'm just kind of weird like that but you could definitely do it up and down if you decide to take this idea and do something with it um, you don't have to do what I'm doing right but I like I kind of like that whole like um, it reminds me of like New York City postcards you know what I mean or they're kind of well that was dumb Heather I did the glue bead that way. Did the, oh, bless America. Oh. See, 10 o'clock Heather. What am I talking about? This could have been seven o'clock Heather. I would have done that. Ooh. You see my thumb? I was packing up uh, wreaths today so that I can get them out to UPS tomorrow when it opens. And, um, I don't know, I guess, you know, I thought my thumb was the box or something. I don't know, with the tape gun and I went, <laughs> cut that with the thing on the tape gun. Like, I'm so clumsy. All right. Hey, Justin. This is new, Justin. <laughs> I loved your wreath and I love that it was for your grandparents with the great with the greats you were like oh this, we thought we were great as grandkids and then the greats came along Aww. all right so y'all first picture done so there you go so that's kind of what I'm doing right and I'm gonna keep doing that all over so hold on, I gotta keep it, I gotta keep it the right way because um, I've talked about this before. Murphy's Law and Heather, they, um, do I, did I seal, I did not seal the picture with anything. I had thought about that before, right? And I figured if I used the jute, it would at least hold it down and not keep it from curling, but you are right. There is nothing over it to like protect it from aging or anything, so. If you do the project, you might want to consider something like that. All right, so I'm going to go in with like two long pictures. How about that? And I was a single mom for a little while with my oldest son, Taylor, um, just a couple of years. Uh, I actually knew my husband now before I ever met my first husband. He just moved away like a ding dong. That's so what I was like. I mean, other than me having Taylor, which is amazing. Like, if you do not moved away. <sighs> you know what I mean? Anyway. So my dad was very, very involved with my oldest son. A lot. A lot, a lot. just to make sure that he had, you know, well, plus he was so young himself. My dad was so, so young. He became a grandpa when he was, we were just talking about this the other day. He was 41 when he became a grandpa. I think that's what we figured it out. He was 41. 
here I am, 45, and I don't have one. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to put it like this so that you can see me work on the jute. And now I'm just going to surround it with jute. Buddy came back. What would I do to seal it? So Brenda, if I was going to seal it, a really good sealer would be the actual Mod Podge. And if you don't want it that thick, you could use something like this, like a DuraClear. That would seal it. Um, let's see. Does anybody else have any recommendations on a good sealer for photos that are printed on parchment paper? So that's where I'm kind of running into the what would be. Because you could print these on photo paper probably do something different right with a seal but um, Mod Podge is a great sealant itself I just did not want to go over the photos with Mod Podge I'm so I'm afraid that it's gonna bleed because it's not it's just on parchment paper. I could be totally wrong, and it could be a ridiculous fear. I've heard that if you've had it printed for a while, that it won't. But I mean, I already told you all my my luck with Murphy's Law, right? I think he's gonna like all the photos and stuff. And then Garrett has some home run balls from this season in baseball, so I'm gonna make him um, put one in the box. And then I've saved all of Taylor's fight tickets and badges, but I know that he has too, so. Yeah, I'm a keepsaker. Not everything. Like, I don't keep all of the school things and all of that, like all the school papers, but if it's a really good drawing or some art project or something like that, definitely. Um, I still have uh, Garrett, my middle son. He wrote, uh, you know, right around Mother's Day, the schools will always give the kids those, like, uh, my mom, and it'll be like a bunch of questions and you fill it in, and it's like, my mom and her age and my mom and what's her favorite food and um and he <laughs> he said that my age was like like real young like real young like i would have been like 11 when i had him he said my favorite food he got right he said was sushi um but there, it was like everything he said was almost all of it was wrong and bobby and i cracked up so we kept it i kept that because that was just too funny. He said, yeah, I bet his teacher looked at that and was like, mm, I'm pretty sure your mom's not that age. <laughs> yes, she is. Yes, she is. He's so cute. spot and then I'll hold it up and let you see. So maybe this will give you a little inspiration. You know, if your dad's a keepsaker or your husband, you know, if you have kids that are very active and you like to keep things and you just never really have a place or like my husband, my husband is really into like cards, baseball cards, football cards, um, motocross memorabilia. So there you go. So that's all we're doing. It's just kind of making like, you know, keep safe box. So let's see. Let me check the time. Let me see if there's any questions. Oh, I, oh, oh, I'm so glad that some of my friends were answering in here. Thank you. Let's see. Maybe, oh, if they were laminated. Oh, that's a really good idea, Barb. I don't have a laminating machine and then um, I know a lot of people too also have crickets and I don't have one of those but I want one we want all the things don't we when we craft <laughs> hey Amber how are you girl yeah he's thinking all right 
I don't think I'm missing any questions or comments, right? Yeah, they still are thunder. They're so amazing. So All right. I have to go back and catch up because I've talked so fast that I, I've missed where the comments fell in play and not, you know, I, you know, squirrel. So. Oh, Lori. My dad is, um, he's not an overly emotional guy, but he's super, he's always there. Yeah, I wonder what he will say. Some of these pictures might get him. He's got this on his Facebook. Yeah, I was, and I am, I still am, a daddy's girl. Daddy's girl. We'll do a couple more photos together while we got a little more time. Um, like I said, he was an electrician, and he worked in the union, but my his brother had a business. We live in Maryland where Frank Perdue is really big, right? So poultry farming is huge. And um, his brother owned a poultry equipment business, which meant he was always in contact with farmers that needed like stuff wired for their chicken houses, you know, their feeders, their water lines, like all, all that stuff was electric. And um, so my dad on the weekends, when he would come home, you know, he was young, he just hustled. So he would work on the side and he would take me with him. I'd be his helper. But I didn't really know what all the tools were. So he would tell me to get like a screwdriver or something like that. I would be like, do you want the plus or the minus? <laughs> so we still call the screwdrivers plus or minus today. So just the little things like that. Like I just love, but yeah, I, w I went everywhere with him. He took me golfing with him at all the time. I bet, I bet his poor friends were like, do you ever go anywhere without your child? Like ever. <laughs> And I'd always be like, you know, and dad would be like, oh, we're going to walk the course. You're not going to want to walk the course. And I'd be like, oh, I am. I totally am. Hole number two. I was like, I'm done. What do you think my dad would do? Put me on his cart and I'd hang on and he'd um, drag me the whole 18 holes on his cart. So, anyway, he played a lot, a lot of softball. He's a really good ball player, him and his um, brothers. And his dad was the coach for many, many years. I'm talking in, into adulthood. So I was the little bat girl. <laughs> I grew up doing that, making uh, lightning bug tail rings <laughs> at all the ball games. Anybody ever do that? Go and catch the lightning bugs and make rings out of them. And don't, don't nobody come for me for, for that. Like, no, no PETA. Sorry, I was just a little kid. I thought it was fun. But yeah. And Fun Dip. Fun Dip was my jam. Fun Dip and Fireflies. Anyway. It's the stuff we remember, right? I wonder... Like, I think about the stuff I, I do, the moments I have with my kids now, and I wonder what they'll remember, right? Because I'm sure my dad doesn't, sure isn't thinking that, you know, I think about, you know, being at all of his little games when I was a little girl, and how I would get on his nerves at the golf course <laughs> with his friends. Oh, and there was this one time that they did actually get a cart and I wasn't supposed to drive it because I was too young and they were all on the green and I was in the cart by myself and the keys are still in it. So I got behind the wheel and I slammed on the, <laughs> on the um, gas pedal, except for it was in reverse and it went all the way backwards into a creek and the butt end of it was all in the water. And so my dad and my uncle had to get all wet to push it out. They were so mad at me. I was like, I don't know, maybe like eight, nine. I was like, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> God. Just didn't listen. Fun dip. That's right. <laughs> Oh, Marianne, good. I'm glad you like it. Oh, Barb, I'm in Maryland. I'm right on the coast near Ocean City right on the coast. I grew up in a little tiny town um, on the water uh, 
Well, I grew up in Princess Anne, but my dad's family's all from um, Fairmount and Rumley. It's a waterfront community near Crisfield. So if you know this area or um, the really rural parts, like I live near Smith Island, if you've heard of that, and that's in Virginia, or no, it's not, that's not Virginia, Tangiers, Virginia. Heather, what are you talking about? But Smith Island is an actual island. I mean, the, the, the kids have to take a bus. Uh, 10 o'clock, Heather. The kids have to take a boat, <laughs> then a bus. Because the bus doesn't walk on water. <laughs> to, get to, um, to get to school. And they don't allow alcohol on the island because they don't have a, um, a police department over there. So they don't, you know, they don't want, like, trouble and stuff like that. It's, like, crazy. But... They make hands down the best crab cakes you'd ever put in your mouth, ever. Smith Island. And they also are known for their very famous cakes. Smith Island cakes. All right, so that's where we're at. I'm gonna go ahead and stop there because I don't think that I can get another photo on there before time is up. But basically what I'm gonna do with the photos that I have is I'm gonna finish kind of putting them around. Some I'm gonna do a little you know, cattywampus, like I did that one. Um, yeah. And then um, I'm going to probably feel this, like I said, like I'm probably going to get Garrett to put one of his home run balls in there and I'll get Taylor to put something in there for him and I'll get crew. So that way there's something already meaningful to get the box started, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. The little pockets on the side. That's what I love. Just like making it a little useful. So I hope you enjoyed it. Just a little out of the box thinking, a little recycling and upcycling for something meaningful for the man in your life, the dad in your life. Oh, awesome. Show me what you do, Lisa. I would love to see it. I love, love your ideas. So I know no matter what you do, I'm going to love it. Like I love all the chippy stuff you do. I love all your stuff. So you're welcome. You're welcome. Yes. Yes. It's the end of the parade. So remember we are here as a part of the group for the Reese work forms and more. If you are not a part of it, please join it. It's free. And, um, please share your work, no matter if you're a maker or creator, or if you're just someone that likes to like bougie up your own home, please share, take a picture, share with us. It'll inspire us. Let us love on you tell you how beautiful it is. That always feels good. Right? So, um, I just can't tell you enough. Like I said, remember the lady that thought no one would love anything and there was over 500 likes. Come on. On Facebook. On Facebook. That doesn't happen. So, let us love on you. Um, but other than that, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, I love being a part of this event. Nadia, I love you, girl. I love, uh, I love all the things you do. You make it so easy for all of us to participate. I have photos on the floor. Um, for all of us to participate and um, I just appreciate it. So everybody, yeah, we're gonna close this out. I'm gonna stop saying words, 10 o'clock Heather's done. And I hope you like the idea. So I will probably be on sometimes this week. I don't know. I know I definitely have a craft around the clock. I don't even know what time it is though, but I'll make a post, I promise. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna have to use my step stool y'all cause I'm short, remember, I'm short. <laughs> Thanks so much. Yes, I, I love you all. You all are so good to me. All right, y'all, have a fantastic night. Go get some rest. And remember, be kind. We need kindness. All right, take care, y'all. Bye!